all the No! Oh, the simpering was getting to be a little much. Excellent. Out of... My friend. There is nowhere to hide. Uh, No turning back now. He closed his eyes, focusing on the life force coursing through his body. For a moment, he felt a pang of fear. Would it hurt to die? But then, laughter filled his mind. This was not his first time, but it would be his last. He shut his eyes, and like that, he was gone. My friend and companion had left this world for good. Sadness filled every inch of my being. But before I could process it, I was overwhelmed by an unimaginable pain. It felt as if my very being was aflame. The ground shook with violent fervor. The room plunged into utter darkness. The pain grew so great I could barely think. And then, just like that, it was gone. My stone prison had been opened. I was a free emperor once more. And I was not alone. One by one across the world, embers burst into their true righteous form, shattering the bonds of the goddess. 
brushing away the fog of her lies. Tattered memories of the Ember's past slowly returned. They had once been simple refugees, fleeing a dying world. Hoodwinked by a voice. A being from outside time. That voice called them down from the heavens. Wooed them with the promise of safety. Locked them in a crystallized prison the Lightbringers could only peer into. But no more. The weakness was gone. The Embers would not run again. This was their home now. They had become an irremovable cog in the wheels of nature here. There was but one thing left to do. It was time for the Embers to speak. People of Domus, hear me now. The voice of the Embers can no longer be denied. Our bonds are broken, and the world as you know it has changed. Your days of exploitation and torture of my race are at an end. I do not ask you to fear us, to fear retribution. That is not the path we want. I ask only for an audience, a seat at the table. The Embers are awake, and we have a lot to say.